I returned from Rome this week after spending seven days with the Missionaries of Charity sisters there. And while I was there, all of our hearts were broken as we saw the images coming out of Israel as the cruelty of Hamas was on full display. So many children, families killed. It's sad to see the world descend into war, and now we see the Middle East once again roiled in conflict. Our hearts and prayers are with the people who are in harm's way today, as Israel now rightly seeks to defend itself and establish its own national security. The Missionaries of Charity Sisters are in Gaza City today, caring for 57 severely handicapped children and adults. It's amazing to see their courageousness and their faithfulness to the people. They weren't able to evacuate. They were pinned down because there's no place for them to go to take so many people who can't care for themselves, can't walk, can't feed themselves. So the sisters in Rome were in solidarity with their own sisters and did a rosary walk. And I participated with them as we walked in the streets of Rome. And then the next day in St. Peter's Square, a long procession of individuals praying for peace in the Middle East. Certainly the world can do better. We can't see civilians simply caught up in the midst of war and killed as if life has no value. And so the, for all of those that are in harm's way, we pray for them. The sisters are also in Ukraine, caring for those that are also caught in war's way. And so we pray that the world sent, comes to its senses and realizes that love is a better path and that peace can endure. And I hope that the world recognizes today in the courage of the missionaries of Charity Sisters, a hopefulness that love does triumph eventually over hate. And so let's all pray for peace and let's seek a more just and humane world in the Middle East and throughout.